So, welcome back. There's the big box of parts. We got it successfully picked up from Punta Gorda. So, I have not opened this thing yet. I was waiting for you guys. So, let's dig in, shall we? I have no idea. I know there's seatbelt tracks in there, but that's all I remember that's in this box. Let's give her a whirl. got a lot of stuff in here. Oh, let's see. We got brake duct. Genuine Volkswagen. I don't know if I'll be reusing, reusing those because you know, that's not a factory bumper, but we can probably modify some stuff here and get that working. Yeah, that's a, with a sensor, which I'm pretty sure that once I had a mystery plug that I didn't know what went to, that's what it goes to. Another one. I'll figure all those out. Uh, it looks like we got a seatbelt track here and here. Let's just get these out first. Ah, spoiler switch. Because mine kind of fell apart. I put it back together. Like the front face came off and then I was doing something stupid. So I got one of those. So we'll put this in the top drawer here. Got one of those. Um... What is this? Actually, I don't know what that is. We're gonna be opening some shit, man. Some seals, those are good. A little twisted, but we can make that work. Do I remember what they're for? No. What are those seals for? James, if you're watching this video, please let me remind me what those seals are for. I believe one of them's a hatch seal. Um, oh, I know what this is. So, hmm. If you remember in the last video, I said something about the trims for the door panels. Well, that's what that is right there, bud. That much I remember. This is scuttle tray seal. Jeez Louise. 
Alright. Yeah. Whole bunch of seals. What is this? Oh, it's secret. Secret. Uh huh. Yep, these are seat belts. Replacement. Because that's not safe. Hell yeah. But I got that, that, that. What is this? What is this? I have to... It's in here. Seatbelt hardware. Okay. That's what that is. Oh, I know what those are. Okay. Yep. Now, fun fact. AC line. That's what that is. I'm not going to be using these AC lines. Because we're not keeping it a G60 anymore. That's exactly what this is. Yep. AC line. And that's what this one is. So those I will not be reusing, unfortunately. Um, what is this? Oh, the other two. Alright. There's still broken glass. Ooh. Nothing in that. So, let's see, let's get this bad chat open here. Motor. Oh. Right there first. That's the part that's going to slide all the way down when you open and close the door. If you take a look at mine. Um, that part is 
Fucking broken. At least on one of them, it's completely... It may not be that part, it may be the actual... <coughs> this part. That's messed up. One of them was really messed up, you couldn't even connect it. One of them was... I can't remember which side it was. I know that's passenger side over there, this is driver's side over here. Um, so, like I said, if you know, I don't use those seats, I'm not going to be reusing these seat belts because they're designed this way. Um, although I probably could, looking at this a little closer. So this is a bolt. And then this right here separates. They're two separate pieces. I didn't look at it that close the last time. I just was like, yeah, I didn't go to fucking work. But here we are. I might. I might be keeping the auto belts and just put the new ones in. We'll see. But the other problem comes into play is the actual lap belt is on the other side of the seat. It depends on the seats that I get in the frame on how all that is. Um, um, I showed you guys the quarter glass. Yeah, we're just sitting here waiting for the body shop now. We're playing nerve game. Which is fine. I told the guy I'm not in a rush because I still gotta, I gotta sit down with a pen and paper and figure out the entire direction of the car that I'm going with. Um, again, big shout out to James out there in Texas who supplied me with all of these parts. I do have another box I'm getting from him um, with replacement spoiler parts and a couple other things I. I can't remember. I get so much. Um, also, thanks to James's brother, who was able to drive this box out from Texas to Punta Gorda. And then Chris, if you're watching this, thanks for picking that shit up for me. Um, saved me a trip down there. Because he lives down there, and it's like, I don't know, an hour from me or something. Not a far drive, but it's just one that I had a hard time getting time for. So we got some brake ducts, we got seat belts, we got uh, automatic seat belts. That, that looks a little different than what I have over there. Oh yeah, so look, okay. So... Is that for stationary? Okay, so this one has two. One, two. This one only has one. It doesn't have the second part. So yeah, it, it, regardless, it needed them. Because it's only got that part. I, I I don't know how these fucking things work. I've never messed with them. I've never had a car with them. Yeah, again, this one. Same thing. It's missing the actual part. So, yeah, I'm glad I got those. Because this, I don't think moves. I guess I could put 12 volts to it and see, but I don't have 12 volts to put to it, so there's that. Um, so yeah, like, these pieces here that are broken, I have those coming. So there's that. We'll see you in the next one.